Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation where I'm going to be introducing our new trend trading boot camp. We're proud to say that I put this together with the Pro Trader Strategies and this is a new series we're going to be having where we're going to be walking you through all the different techniques and methods and all the different things I've accumulated in my 41 years to help you trade with the markets that are now readily available on our platform. Now in this particular series, which is our originating series, we're going to be talking about trend trading. Now the reason why we decided to choose trend trading as our first category to cover is because of situations like this. Let's look at this older chart here in DKS. This is the way I would venture to say 99.9% .9 of most traders trade. They'll see something uh, in a market like this where the market is heading lower. Perhaps they go to a chat room or they listen to their um, trading guru, someone that they uh, you know follow, and they'll uh, you know study it for a while and say, you know what, this is oversold. According to the class I took, this is tremendously oversold. All the indicators are oversold, and you've got to buy it right here because it's got to at least bounce a little bit. So you decide to step in and buy, and it's at this point that the market bounces a little bit, but weeks later you see that it's actually made lower lows. You didn't get a chance to get out because it wasn't sustained. So you look at the figures over again, perhaps you took some $10,000 class that talks about what the institutions are doing or support and resistance, and you say, you know what, this is where the bottom really is. So I'm gonna double down and buy some more. So you buy some more and then this happens. Really didn't rally that much, just a couple of weeks, but now we're making lower lows. So now you're, locked in for the long haul. So you got to buy some more. After all, if it goes up just a little bit, at least you'll break even. So you buy a little more and then this happens, okay? This is the way most traders trade. And if you don't believe me, look at the last month or so in the markets. Most traders have been having a terrible time. We just spoke at the uh, Traders Expo in Las Vegas and a lot of traders were having difficult times with the market because it continued to go lower and lower and they did the same thing that you see here. They continued to buy and buy. And I would venture to say that some people on yesterday's close uh, bought uh, a lot in the market yesterday thinking that it was gonna bounce and open up higher today because it's a holiday week and we usually go higher and they had a rough opening this morning. This is the way most traders trade and they have a very difficult time. You trade with uncertainty. And once you get, when you're out of flow or out of sync, you have this tremendous uncertainty in the markets. And it's no way to really trade because you're really going to be losing a lot of sleep. There's a lot of stress. And you just feel as if you're really, uh, you know, not going in sync with the markets. You feel as if you're actually, uh, you know, losing all the time. Everything you do is wrong. Now, when you're uh, having this uncertainty, it really makes it stressful, especially if you're, uh, you know, uh, married or uh, your spouse, uh, you know, you, you have at this point, we used to make a joke on the trading floor that this is where you start hiding your statements from your significant other because you don't want to show them how terribly you've been doing with your investments or with your trading. So it can affect not only your personal life, but it can affect your life with your relationships, with friends, with family. So. How do we alleviate that? How do we get rid of that uncertainty? Because uncertainty is really what makes trading stressful. Well, let's look at this example now. This is a weekly chart of the spiders, an older chart. Someone who trades like the norm would say, well, wait a minute, we've gone up, sure, but we've gone up way too soon again. Remember, we're hitting resistance right here. This is where all the institutions are selling because of this major resistance. So you gotta sell too, right? So you decide to sell, but if you've taken my courses, you would actually be buying here. This is actually a buy setup used by one of our techniques for trend trading, and you could have had a very nice run to the upside. Instead of selling, you're actually going with the flow. Now, someone looking at this right here would say, okay, well, that was a nice run. You know, it's not gonna last forever. In fact, we're way too overbought. So I've got to sell here, right? So you decide to sell. Well, if you follow our trend trading techniques, you would have seen that there was a buying opportunity at this point, and you would have had a nice profit in a couple of weeks later. And you can continue to do this as long as you are trading with the trend. So you see the difference when you're trading with a trend as opposed to when you're out of sync with the trend, when all you're trying to do is pick bottoms and tops, okay? Before you had this uncertainty and this really unpleasant uh, you know, nature and feeling about trading, but now you're filled with certainty. Now you look forward to trading, you're happy with trading, and you have this certainty because you feel confident. It's the first time you feel confident making a trade. How, when was the last time you really felt confident in making trades? Most people, they're scared to pull the trigger. But now with the PTS Primo Charting Platform, we have an educational portal that teaches you 
how to trade with the trend so that you can have this certainty in the markets, so that you can have this confidence, so you don't wake up in the morning and think, oh boy, I've got to get back on track here, or I don't know how I'm going to sustain these losses I keep making. You'll have that confidence and you'll have that education coming from our platform. So today I'm going to be talking about, once again, a great new uh, program we have. This is our boot camp, and the first series we're going to be talking about is trend trading. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. Nine years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies with one goal in mind, and that was simply to educate as many traders as we could. The reason is, is because the majority of traders fail. It's been estimated 80 to even 85% of all traders fail. It's our opinion that you're failing because you don't have the proper education. And when you don't have the education, when you feel you're not experienced enough or have enough knowledge or you haven't been trading enough, what's the first thing a trader does? He looks outside for something to alleviate that pain, for something to tell him what to do. This can be done in the form of a chat room. This can be done in the form of a $10,000 course. It can be done by watching every news event or every indicator that comes out. And usually you result in that 85 percentile of losers. If you have the education with sound fundamental techniques that have stood the test of time, most likely you'll be able to be a consistent trader. So this is what we're trying to do. And the reason is, is because you'll be making your own decisions. I've been trading for 41 years. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the traders I have found that are consistent are the ones that are in charge of their own trading destiny. They don't watch TV to find out what a certain trader likes on TV. They don't listen to the news. They don't go to chat rooms or trading rooms. They just look at one thing, and that's the chart in front of them. The reason why they do that is because they're knowledgeable enough to know what works and what doesn't, and they make their own trading decisions. So if you haven't come to that spot yet, don't worry. This is what we provide. Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies have developed numerous courses and techniques, and we've developed a really, I'm really proud of our platform, a very educational platform that teaches you how to trade in sync and how to be a consistent trader. So we're going to be talking about a new program we have today. This is our, our boot camp that is just going to be starting in the next couple of weeks, I believe. But before we begin, I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using what we're going to be applying in the boot camp. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And please remember that all of these examples are strictly for educational purposes only. So as you're taking a brief moment to view our required disclaimer, if you haven't done so already, I know we have a lot of followers, but if you haven't done so, uh, feel free to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle there. That's abbreviation for specialist trading. I post different things on a daily basis, anywhere from uh, little bits of financial wisdom to signals that our strategies have generated to some of the tools that we are going to be using on our new um, uh, boot camp uh, course. So lots of great free information. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now remember, we are different from other webinars you may have attended, from other websites you've gone to, and the fact that our only goal, as you see here, is simply to teach you. We're not going to promise you we have a system that generates thousands of percent per month or per year. We're not going to promise you that you'll be able to retire in six months. In fact, if anyone does that, I would really take that with a grain of salt or even run because there's no way to guarantee or prove any of that can happen. What we can provide you with and what our promise is, is to provide you with solid fundamental education that has stood the test of time. You see, a good mentor does not trade for his student. He teaches them how to trade. And that's what we're here to do for you. We want to teach you how to trade with the same edge that was taught to me some four decades ago. And I believe that's what sustained me for this amount of time. And hopefully what we teach you will be able to sustain you, not just a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the road, okay? So since it's going to be an educational classroom today, remember, if you do have questions, that's great. I want to take each and every one of them, but please wait till the end of the class to ask questions so I can go through all the slides and show you what's going to be offered in our new boot camp, okay? The only question I will answer is this one, the most popular one, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you can't see or hear the screen, don't worry. Many times it's your own internet connection. Just log off and log back on again. But if you still can't hear us or see us, don't worry. Uh, we will send each and every one of you a link to this recording. So once again, we have a good crowd here today. If you happen to join us late, please wait to ask questions at the very end. All right. With that said, let us 
begin. And I'm going to start off by sharing with you what my mentors taught me when I was struggling some 41 years ago on the floor. Remember, as I say often, I was doing the same things you're probably doing today. I was looking at all the news events, all the earnings, all the economic reports. I was watching all the trading gurus. I didn't have the internet then, it wasn't invented yet, but we didn't have chat rooms and trading rooms, but we had newsletters. So I was subscribing to each and every one of those, just dozens of those to find out what these guys thought and what their recommendations were. And it just wasn't working. Uh, these were all the things I had been taught some four decades ago. And these are the things, the same things that people use today. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's no consistency in these things. So here's what my mentors told me some four decades ago. Steve, uncertainty in the markets can only come when one is not in sync with the trend. I mean, look at it. That really explains everything. If you're losing, it's because you're out of sync with the trend. Now, if you're day trading or if you're intraday trading, whatever that short term trend is, you're out of sync with it if you're losing. And if you're making money with it, well, then you have this certainty or this confidence. Well, it means you're in sync with the trend. That's all it really means. Here's the only trouble. Everyone in the world has a different idea of what trend is and how to find it. Everyone does. And in fact, some people don't even know what trend is. It's difficult trying to define it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to try and explain it the same way my mentors taught to me. Okay. You see, there are two different types of trend. There is the overall trend. So what does that mean? This is where people get confused. Well, think of the markets as a huge ocean. Okay. It's a major, major ocean. It's just unfathomable how big it is. It's almost never ending. The overall trend are those large swells, those large currents out in the middle of the ocean that you can't see sometimes, but they really govern and predict the flow, the given flow of the ocean altogether. OK, a lot of uh, cruise ships, a lot of sailors, you know, use these tremendous, tremendous uh, trends in the ocean or these currents to define how they're going to be uh, maneuvering and sailing in the ocean. Now, they can't see them, but you know they're there. That's the overall trend. Now, this overall trend can also make these midterm or these uh, waves that you see. There's a lot of swing traders use this intermediate type of trend, which is governed by the overall trend. But these are still part of the overall picture because these waves are coming from the overall trend. Sometimes they can be nice and smooth the way you see here, or they can be very powerful. Either way, this is what the overall trend is like. It's taking in the entire picture. Usually if you're a, a, a trend trader looking at the overall trend, you'll be looking at anywhere from daily to monthly bars. Now, there is another type of trend. This is the short term trend. This is what a lot of smaller time frame traders, intraday traders like to use. If you compare that to the ocean, it's once again still part of the ocean, but these are the part of the waves that hit the shore on the sand where you walk. OK, this is where you get all the ripples and all the foam. They may be going contra to the overall trend. In other words, the overall trend may be heading outwards to the ocean while the short term trend is coming inwards towards the sand. So because of that, there's a lot of movement. Sometimes we call that a lot of noise with the short term trend because there's a lot of counter movement going back and forth. And it can, can be difficult at times to discern what the short term trend is, but there still is a shorter term trend. So remember, the overall trend is like the large swells and ebbs and tides of the ocean within the ocean. The short term trend are like the small waves that hit the shore. Now, let's define this a little bit more. OK, as we see here. Excuse me, we're kind of locking up on the platform. It just could be because we have a slow Internet connection, but I just want to make sure that you're going to be seeing the next slides. These pictures sometimes take to say, seem to take up and they kind of locked up a little bit. So let's just wait. But anyway, to get back to it, the short term trend is often defined as the smaller waves hitting the shore. The long term trend, once again, is defined as that those large swells, those large uh, uh, ebbs and flows that you cannot see at times. All right, let's see if we can go here with a page down again. Now we seem to be locking up just a second. Let me just close that program because we're locking up. Oftentimes when we have these pictures, uh, that's why I don't use a lot of pictures in our, our platform because they do lock up a, a bunch of times. Oftentimes if I close out of this and come back on, we'll be able to go. So let me just close the screen here for a while. Let's go back to the screen and I'll try and fix this really quickly.
Okay, we are back. I hope you can see that okay. And now I will ask you to answer, answer a question. I'm sorry about that. Let's hope this doesn't lock up again. But just if you are in your question and answer box, if you can see and hear the screen clearly, please let me know and then I'll begin, okay? Sorry for that uh, little uh, pause there, but we had to log out and then log back on. And so if you can see and hear everything clearly, just go to your question and answer box and let me know and then I'll start. Uh, yes, yes, and yes. Okay, sounds good. So why don't we begin before it locks up again? Okay, great. So here's the problem with the trend. Once we find the trend, for some reason, we've always been taught to trade against it. Maybe it's human nature. Maybe it's just the way we've always been taught or we think that'll work. But we always want to go against the trend as traders for some reason. So this is what usually happens. You're usually taught right from the beginning that if everyone is selling, you want to be a buyer. And if everyone is buying, you want to be a seller. And that sounds nice. It sounds as if there's a lot of character in that. But guess what? When you swim against the tide, when you swim against the current, it's going to be very difficult because it's going to take a lot of energy. You're going to get really tired. And most likely, you're not going to see any results. And guess what? Your financial future could even drown. You could even die in this. So. Wouldn't you rather be trading like this? What if your trading was as simple as this, just flowing down the river with a current at your back? That's what it's like when you trade in sync with the trend. It's a lot more conducive to great relationships. Trading is relaxed. And guess what? You finally have that certainty and you look forward to the next day of trading. It's no longer waking up and saying to yourself, well, what's going to happen today? You are excited about what's going to happen because you know how to be in sync with the trend. Okay, it's for this purpose that we created our trend trading boot camp. Now we already provide all of these things in our courses. We already provide all these tools and techniques on our platform. Here's the difficulty. Most people who use our platform in our courses, the common question is how do I find the trend or how do I apply these tools to find the trend? In other words, they still have a very difficult time. It's hard getting rid of this programming we've had for years and years about trying to pick a bottom or trying to pick a top or trying to use multiple uh, indicators or different chart patterns or different time frames to find the trend. It's just almost been brainwashed in us. So that's why Pro Trader Strategies and myself came up with this idea to have a boot camp where we went over all the things offered on our platform so that you would know exactly how to do it. So there wouldn't be these uh, myriad of questions that I'm constantly getting emails saying, Steve, how does this work here? How do I use this? I know how to generate a signal, but I'm not sure about the trend trading techniques and all the stuff you have on the platform. So we want to have this intensive two day course coming up very soon, a live course that's going to be recorded if you can't happen to make it, but live where we cover all the things that will get you in sync with the trend. Remember, What's keeping you from your success is the fact that you are out of sync with the trend. What if you could have a real intense two day class where you went over everything we offer on a platform so that after that you would know with certainty just by applying these things where the short term trend is, where the overall trend is and how to use all these techniques to trade with the trend. Well, here's what we're going to be offering in our two day course. We're going to show you a short term trend identifier. Okay. This is based off of a pattern recognition. And once with one click, you apply this, this pattern recognition trend identifier, when used with specific things, we'll show you in, in the course. And also today, I will show you one of specific uh, categories. You'll be able to pinpoint when a trend may be taking off. You'll get that short term trend identifier, but you'll also get the overall trend identifiers. In fact, you'll get four of them all together. So many people have looked back and said, boy, how did we know that this market was going to really sell off these last month or so? OK, well, with this tool in the overall trend identifiers, you would have known probably three days uh, prior to a large sell off that we were going to be in a downward mode. That's how that's how really powerful these tools are. They're all on the platform. We're also going to show you trend confirmation entries now. One of the major things that students have trouble with is they think that their their strategy or their technique or their their uh, uh, system could be faulty. And in all actuality, it may be doing OK. It's just that your entry is faulty. We have a way of entering with the trend of confirming the trend. Think of it this way. Imagine you are at a train station. I always use this metaphor. In fact, I used it in Las Vegas. Imagine you're at a train station and you want to get from point A to point B. All right. So you're waiting for the train to come. You're standing out there just like in the movies, waiting at the tracks. And all of a sudden you see a train coming towards 
the train station. But guess what? It's not headed in the direction that you want to go. In fact, it's headed in the opposite direction. Most likely, you're not going to get on that train. But this is the way the majority of traders trade. They will get on that train, even though it's going in the wrong direction. This is the way most traders enter into a trade. What you want to do is hop on board that train that's going in your direction. The one you see coming down the tracks that's heading in your direction. That's the one you want to get on. This is what this specific tool does. It defines that the short term direction and your method of entry, whatever it's based on, is going in the direction of the trend. We're also going to apply trend following stops. We know a lot of traders like to stay in the market and they like the market to define when they'll get out. Still, other traders like to use uh, two types of exit. They like to exit at a certain spot and then uh, half of their position at a certain spot and then let the remainder continue. OK, this is what these trend following stops are perfect for because they follow the trend and they continue to hug price as it goes up if you're long or hug price as it goes down if you're short. We also have something I'm very proud of. I developed this with ProTrader Strategies. This is our strength of trend tool. This is a great way to, to find out, not guaranteed, but a great tool better than anything I've used before that will tell you when the trend is dissipating or if it's still strong. Now, it doesn't do this with 100% certainty, but it's a great way if you're in a position to maybe tighten your stops or to let them run because this is telling you that there's still a lot of momentum left. Okay. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg of all the things we're going to be talking about. But these are the major, major techniques and tips and, and uh, uh, tools that we will be discussing in the boot camp and going in detail, showing you how to use them properly and how to use them with the trend. And it'll be so simple after you know how to do it because you'll be able to apply it on the PTS Primo charting platform. It'll all be there right for you. And you'll only find these tools and techniques on the PTS Primo charting platform. You can't find them anywhere else. All right, so let's start with some examples, okay? So let's look at an uptrend example first, and we'll show you how we can apply these uh, separate techniques. All right, here's a chart in letter I. This is uh, uh, just up until uh, the end of October. As you can see here, we had kind of a sideways movement, then a short-term uptrend, then a short-term downtrend. Let's say you're a short-term trader. Is there any way right here that you could have maybe known that you were going to be taken off to the upside? Well, what you do is you apply that short term technique. Now, here we have a series of green arrows. We have a bunch of them, a confluence of them right here. We have some still more right here and less and less here and none here. All right. This is our short term technique telling you that on a short term basis, based off of a pattern recognition, we're going higher. Now, how do we use this? Well, there are many ways. Here's one of the ways. When you see a specific area where you have a confluence here of a lot of these arrows, all right? What you want to do is define it. And if you see a lot of these arrows in a range or where the market is not doing anything, anywhere from five to 10 bars or more, but you see a confluence of up arrows, well, that's telling you the short term trend is up, even though the market is basically going sideways. It's giving you a really big hint that the trend is up. So don't you think this is where you'd want to be looking for a buy setup to apply your strategy? Because look what happened days after that. The market took off, all right? And you notice none of them were generated as we went down. It wasn't telling you that the short-term trend was going higher. That's the short-term trend if you're a short-term trader. What if you're a day, um, I should say, a swing trader or an investor? Well, you want to look at the overall trend, all right? The overall trend, remember, is like those big swells, those ebbs and flows in the ocean. Well, Here's what we always tell, and we'll give you a little clue because I've talked about this a million times before. The way to define the overall trend, the simplest way I know, is to apply the 50 period moving average. All right. It's that simple. Now, when I first started teaching roughly about 10 years ago, I thought this is all I'd have to ever do is tell people to apply the 50 period moving average because this is my most powerful tool I have that was taught to me. It's worked like a charm for me for four decades now, and I thought this is all I'd have to do. And most students will use it for a while and their eyes light up and say, boy, this is amazing how it tells me the overall trend. And then they'll go to a webinar where someone says they have a fantastic system or this indicator never fails, and then they'll stop using it. So ProTrader Strategies and I devised a way to make sure that you would always know to use the 50 period moving average, because what it's telling you is when price is above the 50, the overall trend is up. And when price is below, the overall trend is down. Okay, it's that simple. But most traders 
forget to use it that way or they'll use the 50 as a system. They'll think, well, Steve said when price goes above, I buy. When price goes below, I sell, which is not the truth. It couldn't be further from the truth. I've never said that. I said this is an overall indicator of the trend. That's all. So how could we make it simpler for you to know that it's there all the time? Well, we have four different ways to apply this. 50 period moving average is one of them. Another one is our background feature, which automatically colors the back of your screen. Whatever time frame, whatever direction, whatever market, can be commodities, futures, currency pairs, makes no difference. But if you see a blue screen, as you see right here, well, that's telling you the overall trend is in an uptrend. It's that simple. So even though you may have some sideways or even down markets, if the back of the screen is blue, the overall trend is up, okay? So as we see here, when the overall trend, when we were selling off this week, don't you think there were some nice buying opportunities here? Because the overall trend was telling you it was still going higher. And even at this point, it was still saying that there may be some buy, nice buy opportunities at the end of October because the screen was still blue. Okay, so that's how the simple ways to do this, the first or, and second way. How about the third way? Well, a lot of traders don't like to clutter up the screen, so we devised our color band. All you do is use the color band feature, and if you see the bottom of the screen blue, you know that you're automatically in an overall uptrend. It's that easy. If you see the bottom of the screen a different color, well, it'll be in a downtrend, but I'll go into that in just a few minutes here. Now, lastly, this is our most powerful and I think uh, our most popular way to express the overall trend. That's with our fluid buy sell line. I talk about this all the time because it has different advantages. Sure, the blue is once again telling you the overall trend is up and the red is telling you the overall trend is down. But not only is it doing that, it also tells you where you need to go. And once you cross over, when you'll be in the downward side or upward side. So you know that if we had a couple of closes below, well, we're now gonna be in the overall downtrend. You know how far down you have to go or how far up you need to go. But most importantly, it also tells you the momentum or the strength of that trend. When you see a nice upward slope in the fluid buy sell line, that not only telling you is telling you as it does here that we're in an overall uptrend, but it's also telling you that the strength is very, very strong. So you've got to look for some not nice buying situations when you have that strong upward slope. So you have a great advantage now more than anyone else uh, as to seeing the strength momentum of not only the short term, but the overall trend in any market and in any time frame. Okay, let's look at another feature. We have a couple of buy signals. These are two of our strategies, but remember, we're not going to be talking about strategies in this boot camp. We're going to only be talking about how to trade with the trend. So in this particular boot camp, an example here, we have two strategy buys, all right? Here's where we're gonna be introducing our entry technique. There is a uh, preferable place for entry once price has confirmed that it's going in your direction. And with one simple click, you can find out where those places are. As you can see here, it's very hard to see because of the size, so I uh, made it a little bit larger and zoomed in. And this is the most opportune place to enter on this particular buy setup. I know a lot of traders will say, well, listen, why couldn't we have bought back here? Why couldn't we bought halfway? Those are all well and good. But the most opportune to know that you were in sync with the trend would have been right here at 22.27. And look what happened three days later. OK, it's the same with the other buy signal. It generated exactly where the most opportune place for entry would be if you wanted to confirm that you were in sync with the trend. Now, if you had waited to buy lower, well, you may have missed it. That's why it generated this level right here. It gives you the exact price. In this case, it was 31.54. And you can see it didn't even wait to go up. It continued right after that. So we know as traders that one of the worst things is, is that when you get a signal to do something and you miss it or you get in too high or too low, this will generate the most opportune place for confirmation. OK, that's what is great about this trend trading entry tool. Now. Let's say we're in the trade, all right? The overall trend is up, here are two trades. What if we want to stay in the trade and ride it up? Well, we use this specific tool we have here for trailing stops. Now, once you click on, once again, everything is just one click away. It's so easy to access all these different features. We'll show you how to do this on the platform. But once you do that, you'll see a series, in this case, triangles. And you can reformat it to look like anything you want. It could be dots, it could be stars, it could be uh, crosses. But in this case, it's triangles, small triangles. You could also reformat the size. 
But once, let's say you've entered the trade here, once you're in the trade, once you see the first, in this case, triangle appear, that's where you'd place your stop, okay? So you have a nice profit here, but you're gonna let this ride, so you're gonna place your stop right here. And every time a green triangle is formed, you'll move your stop up there and continue to move it higher and higher until ultimately you're stopped out. So you entered here and you were stopped out here. So you captured this amount of the move. You're out of the trade for a couple of days and another signal is generated. So you enter the trade again, you see the first green um, arrowhead or triangle. And so you place your stop just below there and you continue to write it up with the trailing stop feature and you're stopped out again right here. So you entered here and you got stopped out here. And you see how this would have helped you stay out of this large sell-off. Now, this is the way most traders trade. They'll see a trade and they go, boy, this is great. I'm going to go for the long haul. And then all of a sudden, the trade turns into a loss. It's all how you manage it within the trend. Now, you could use a dynamic exit, which we feature in our courses. But remember, we're not going to go into that today. If you like to exit with a trend, our trailing stop feature is a great one to apply as well. Okay. Now, let's say you're in the trade and you're tracking it. And let's say you have different ideas. Maybe you have your own way of exiting, but you want to see the strength and determine how strong this trend is. This is where we have our new strength uh, momentum tool to find out how strong the actual movement is. As we see here, it is simply a crosshair tool, a custom crosshair. Most crosshairs just have a, a vertical and a horizontal line. We've also added two diagonals, an upper diagonal and a lower diagonal. Without going too much in explanation how it works, it just basically is looking at its relationship to the 50 period moving average. So you wanna do is put your cursor over where you make some highs. So you entered here and as you're making highs, you place your cursor over and on the 50 period moving average. And then what you wanna see is the moving average not below the lower um, uh, crosshair or, or I should say diagonal crosshair. Because the closer it gets to the lower means that it is dissipating. It's running out of steam. So you may want to use the trailing stop or you may want to exit altogether. Now, since we did not go below, it does not necessarily say that the trend is over. So as you see, we ran out of steam and went lower, but then we still had movement to the upside. Now, what happens if we moved our crosshair over to this area? Well, now we see that we have gone below, even just by a hair, but that's enough to tell us that this trend is flashing a, uh, a red flag. We may want to exit this entirely or really raise our stop because we are now below the lower diagonal and we all see what happened later, days to come after that. You see how this great tool can help you in, be in sync and know when a trend is failing and to know when a trend still has strength or some momentum left in it? Not guaranteed, there's nothing guaranteed in all of life for 100%. So uh, this tool is not going to guarantee anything either, but we're simply trying to give you tips and techniques to increase your odds for consistency so that you'll have consistency in your trading. And all these things can really, really help you. Now let's look at the opposite side of the coin. How can these help in a downtrend, the way we've been in a downtrend for a while? Well, let's look at another stock, NVDA. This is a current chart up until yesterday. This was yesterday's action, okay? Obviously, in hindsight, we've been in a downtrend. What if you're an intraday trader and around here, you see, we were going lower, but then we kind of stopped. Maybe you're a short-term trader. Were we going to stop here? How did you know we were just making a, a base and we we're going to go higher? Well, we use that short-term tool again. Remember, based off pattern recognition. And remember, one of the best ways to use it is to find out when the market is basically doing nothing in a pattern. Look at the confluence here, the number of consecutive closes where this tool was telling you the short-term trend was down. And then look what happened immediately after that. So that's a great way to find out what the short-term trend is doing. What if you're an overall trend trader? What if you like to swing or invest? Well, we simply add our next tool, which in this case is the 50 period moving average. Once again, I thought it would be simple just to tell traders, just apply a 50 period moving average. Everyone uses it for about a couple of weeks or a month and then they forget about it. So once we crossed below here, it was obvious that the overall trend was down. Three days of closes gave us enough information and many points higher to know not to be long this stock. But because a lot of students have difficulty remembering how to apply this, they think it's a system or a trading technique, or they get their eyes open wide when another educator comes along with some master system, we said, listen, we have to have our platform have it there for them all the time. So we devised the background feature. 
when you have the blue background, that's telling you we're in an uptrend, but look what happened right here. Three red bars was telling us we are now in a downtrend. You could have avoided all of this if you were just a buy only type of trader, or if you were looking for shorting opportunities, you could have combined this overall downtrend with the short term downtrend and had some nice selling opportunities. If you don't wanna use our background feature to clutter up the screen, the colors, well, simply apply the color band ribbon. And you see at the very bottom, the colors change and show you automatically, but free up the space on the charts. You can write things or put indicators or arrows, anything you'd like to put. Lastly, we have our fluid version, which is the most popular as well as the most advantageous because it gives you uh, all this information. In, in other words, we knew right here that we were getting very close to crossing below, so we we're getting prepared to go into a downtrend. And we know right here that we have a lot of distance to cover before we'll be in an uptrend. So it's given us a lot of information as well as the to the strength of this downward move with the slant, the strong downward slope of the fluid buy sell line. So you have a number of ways to not only know what the overall trend is, but you can see the strength of that trend and you'll know when that trend is going to change by seeing how far away it is from the other color. Isn't this information invaluable? You have all of this at your access on the platform, but we will intensively go over this in the boot camp to show you exactly how to use it with your own trading. Now, let's go to a couple of signals. Some more uh, signals were generated to go short here, okay? Which would be the most advantageous place to go short? And you know, many times a lot of traders would say, well, Steve, uh, you know, sometimes I'll get a short signal and then it opens up higher the next day. So I wanna put my entry in a little bit higher. Well, this is the best place in terms of being in sync with the trend to have it confirm your entry. I know it's a little bit difficult to see, so I zoomed up and took a snapshot. We automatically tell you the price, 241.13, and on this signal, 237.09, to give you the highest uh, level of confirmation for entry. This is automatically done one click away, so you would know where the most advantageous place is to enter to confirm the signal. All right, let's say you want to stay in and track the trade. You're the type of trader that says, you know what, I shorted both of these signals, okay? This one I got short and I got short. Let's say you have a big enough account size to actually go short the stock. Or let's just say maybe you uh, purchased two puts, all right? All right, so you wanna track this trade with the trend. Well, you use our trailing stop feature. And here it is, in this case, we format it to uh, down arrowheads or downward triangles, okay? Small red ones. Each and every time you'd see one generated, that's where you place your stop. Okay, as we go lower with the trend, now you're locking in some profits at this lower one. And as we go lower, you would have been stopped out. Now, if you had taken advantage of both these signals, what you could have done is taken your profits right here. I'm sure you would have a nice profit, either if you sold the stock short or if you had puts and covered right here, exited the trade. With one of them, a lot of our traders like to trade multiple contracts. So what you do is take one and then move your stop to unchanged. So this way, you know, if it starts to rally, well, you wouldn't make money on one of your trades and the other one would have broken even. But since we didn't go all the way back, you continue to look for these red arrows. Now you move your stop to here for your second portion of your position. And now you move position down to here. So now you've locked in a lot more on the second portion of your position. And, uh, you know, seeing today's action, you're probably going to move this stop down even more off of today's. OK, now. I know a lot of traders uh, would have looked at this and said, well, you know, I'll just uh, cover and I'll go long right here off of today's action. But, you know, I'll show you in just a few moments how that uh, strength, uh, that trend strength tool would have told you that there was more room to go to the downside in this particular stop. Now, lastly, let's look at our last feature here, which is that uh, trend strength tool. This is our crosshair, our custom crosshair. Now, once again, if you're short, once you start to have some profits, you want to just put your cursor over the 50 and see where it is in relation, in this case, to the high diagonal line. If we get close to or above, that most likely is telling us that the trend is dissipating and that you might want to get out. OK, as we see here, the 50 period moving average isn't really even that close. So that's telling us there's still room to the downside. It, does it tell us that it's going to stop right here or I mean continue to go lower? No, because as you see, we actually stopped and bounced a little bit. But this would give you the confidence either to stay in the trade or to look to get in again. 
because as you see here, we went much, much lower. Now let's see what happened yesterday. I took this slide yesterday because this was yesterday's action. And as you can see, once we put the cursor over, the 50 period moving average right here is still close to the top uh, diagonal line, but it has not crossed over yet. So what's that telling us? It's telling us most likely there's more room to the downside. And guess what? MVDA, uh, or should say opened down 10 points today. So you could have taken your profits on the opening down 10 points and got some extra ones, or you know you could still be in the trade. It's entirely up to you. But according to our uh, you know custom feature here, which is only on our platform, it's still saying this, there may be some more room to the downside. These are all great tools you'll only find on our platform. All right, so let's recap before we go to question and answers. Remember, in our boot camp, we're going to have a two-day live intensive course where we'll cover everything that is on our platform so that you specifically know how to use it. Remember, I've got a lot of testimonies from people who love our strategies and love our methods and our techniques, but they don't really know how to use the features and all the different things available on the platform for trend trading. So this is why ProTrader Strategies and myself developed this boot camp specifically so you can learn how to use these tools because these tools will really increase your odds for consistency. We have all the short-term identifiers. We have the overall trend identifiers, the trend confirmation entries, trend following stops, proprietary strength of trend tools, and it's just the tip of the iceberg of all the different things we have to offer and ways to apply them. These are only available on the new PTS Primo charting platform. Remember, uncertainty is a terrible way to trade. When you have feelings of uncertainty, trust me, I've been there before. It's a terrible feeling to know that every trade you take is a loser and it's just depressing and you're putting in a lot of hard work and you're not seeming to get anything out of it. It's a lot easier to trade with the current at your back. You want trading to be like this, relaxing, something that you look forward to, something that gives you a certain amount of certainty because certainty really just means confidence. You want to be able to approach each day with a high level of confidence. So ask yourself, as we get ready to close here, ask yourself, do you think our trend trading course, the very first in our new series of boot camp classes, do you think it could have helped your trading this past year? We're going to be ending the year in just about a month. You see the markets, how we've been going lower. Have you done very well in these markets? Would you like to be in sync with the market? Because that's what it's all about. I think our new trend trading course can help you with our boot camp. All right. So here's the great offer we have for all the attendees today. We're going to offer you our new PTS Pro Trader Strategies Primo Charting Bootcamp. And this series, we're talking about trend trading. We have a great two day live course. Remember, this is our roadmap for any market. It's our proprietary trending tools, four overall trend identifiers, our entry and trailing stop techniques, the strength of trend tool that you can not find anywhere else except on our platform. And everything is just one click away to identifying trends in any market and or time frame. I know a lot of you may be saying, well, Steve, I trade currency pairs and I trade five minute charts. How can this help me? It, it makes absolutely no difference. It's, you'd say like, well, how can it not make a difference? Well, guess what? I trade uh, tick charts of the E-mini S&P when I have free time to trade. And I use these same techniques. So it makes no difference. If you're a, a short-term trader, uh, you know, I'm a short-term trader myself. I use all of these myself. Now, if you're an investor, I think this should help you tremendously because those are those big overall long-term trending trades. And these can help you tremendously to do a lot of research for your investment. Okay. So this is a great, great opportunity to get involved in our very first boot camp series. And in this one, we're going to be talking about trend trading. Now, if you don't believe me, let's take a current look at the spiders. That's the ETF that represents the S&P 500. This is with our uh, fluid buy sell line. Uh, uh, plotted on the screen. This chart was taken this morning, today on the opening, I believe, after the, off the opening. Do you think this could have helped you? This simple, this one simple tool could have helped you with the current market. Do you see how in the first week of October, we already knew that we were in an overall downtrend? So there was no reason at all for us to be looking to buy and to get hurt. If you've been losing a lot of money buying stocks in the last month or two, well, it's because once again, you are out of sync with the markets, that's why the majority of traders fail. You are not necessarily having a terrible system or a terrible strategy. It's because you're out of sync with the market. If you want to learn how to be in sync with the market, this two day course will really help you. It's a great boot camp to get you in sync with our proprietary tools and techniques. 
So once again, this is the portal that teaches you how to trade with a trend. It's an educational portal that I designed with ProTrader Strategies with one purpose, to teach you how to be in sync with the markets. That's what it's all about. So here's how to take advantage of this great, great offer. Remember, we're gonna have a series of boot camps in the future. This is our inaugural one, where we're gonna be talking about trend trading because we feel it is the most important of all. The, the boot camp trend trading course regularly will cost $14.95, but for the early bird registration, it's only gonna cost $9.95. We're gonna give you a $500 discount. Now on top of that, we'll also give you payment plans too. If $9.95 is too big of a sum for you to come up with, don't worry, you can also structure some type of payment plan. But that $500 discount along with a payment plan is for a limited time only. In fact, I believe only for the next 48 hours. Then we go back to the full price of $14.95. So you owe it to yourself to take advantage of this. This is a great course to have. You're gonna have live instruction with yours truly. And this also comes with educational correspondence. You can email me with any questions whenever you'd like. 995, think of this year. If you had gotten this course last year, I could almost venture to say that most of you have lost a lot more of that in the markets. If you had invested that in yourself, you really would have been able to be in sync with the trend and find out what trend trading is all about. So here's how to take advantage of this. Contact my sister site, Pro Trader Strategies. You can email them or call them directly. I would suggest calling them directly at this number, 310-598-6677. There's absolutely no obligation. They have trading consultants manning the phones that would be more than happy to answer any question you have about pricing, about discounts, and about the platform. And that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the sign-up page and also give you some more information. Now, that's not a live link, but if you look in the chat box, We've posted a live link under the chat, uh, the chat uh, category, so you can simply click that on and it will automatically take you there. So I'm going to leave this information up here. I promised you I'd answer any question. And once again, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, holding off when I had to pause for that uh, slight uh, uh, tech uh, difficulty we had. Many times, uh, that's why I don't show a lot of pictures because it kind of takes a little bit too much information and then the, uh, the uh, program seems to stall there. So thanks and sorry about that. Okay, so Mark is asking, he says, it looks like you don't respond well with the trend of pictures on your computer. Yes, I'm sorry about that, Mark. The trend on that was a little bit difficult. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, question, does this work on Macintosh computers or Apple devices? We have a version for Mac computers as well. Anything that's related to tech support or data, feel free to contact ProTrader Strategies because they're in, in uh, sync with all that. They handle all of the tech support and data and all the discounting of pricing. So they'd be happy to answer any question you have about that. And yes, so they do have a Mac version available. So for all of you that do use Mac, I know I believe about only 10 or 20% of all traders use Mac version, but we still have capability for that as well, okay? Um, Let's see, if, if the trend of the individual stock while the market is in the overall in a downtrend, sometimes stocks go up while the trend has been down. Uh, what happens when the market is down? Well, the main thing you want to do is you want to first find out what the overall trend is, okay? That's the most important thing. In fact, that's the first rule. When you find that the overall trend is, let's say, down as it was in MVDA, all right? Then you want to see the strength of that trend. Okay, you wanna see the strength. You can do that with our fluid, as I showed you. If you remember, I showed you that, uh, the strength of that going down on the fluid. You also want to, uh, you can also apply that with the, uh, the uh, uh, strength of strength tool that we have as well to see if the trend is, is strong to the downside or not. But you can also, I would say most importantly, apply our short-term trending tool to see what the short-term trend is. Because a lot of traders often look to find out what the, uh, daily bars are doing, time frame is doing in sync with the hourly. And there's no reason to do that because you just look at one screen and everything is there. You'll have the overall trend along with the short-term trend. And when those two are in sync, well, then you have a high probability point of entry. So when you have the short-term trend in sync with the uh, overall trend, well, then there are high probability places uh, for structure. But we're not going to discuss the actual signals in, in this course because we have the signals that are based on these things. But that's not what we're discussing today. We're discussing first how to find those setups, okay? What they're based off of. So that's what our strategies do. But a lot of students kind of bypass that in the learning process and still don't understand what the trend is when they're looking to put another strategy or maybe define their own methods onto the trend. So those are the most important things. And then once you're in, 
how do you want to get out? Do you want to exit with a defined exit? Well, we have those in our strategies, but we also have ways to use when you use our trailing stop method as well. Okay, there's lots of different ways to do this, uh, Mark. It's just uh, the main thing is you want to be in sync with the overall trend. That's the first thing. Now, a lot of times the short term will be out of sync with the overall, but the uh, structure is what matters most. And we have we have like pullback strategies where uh, a, a stock can be going straight up, but the overall trend is down. That's still OK. That still means that, uh, you know, we're just setting up for some type of a pullback in a down overall downtrend. So there's lots of different ways to trade that. But please remember, we will not be talking about actual trading of uh, strategies or systems in the in the in, in terms of entering into trades that are based on rules and requirements. We won't be going into that. We'll show you how to manage once you're in a trend and how to manage once you're in the trade. But in terms of actually de designing how to uh, have a setup involved, uh, that's in our, our courses, our other courses we'll be having along the way. Okay. Hope that answers your question. Remember, if uncertainty is part of your daily program for trading, if you're uncertain about everything, it just means you do not know how to define the trend. What if I could show you with one simple click how you could define these trends and how to find them? And then you'd be so much more confident in making this, the decision to trade or to pull the trigger. I can almost guarantee you, I, I, I did this with people I met at the expo in Las Vegas last week. They were saying how they were losing so much money. And then I said, listen, use our overall trend on our platform. And I can almost guarantee you that you're out of sync with the overall trend on all your trades. And they said, well, Steve, I don't trade daily bar. I trade five minute bar. Use the overall trend on a five minute bar. It makes no difference. And they used it. They, they became customers of ours. And they said, gosh, you're right. I mean, I was buying when I should have been selling and selling when I should have been buying. And that's the reason why you have uncertainty. You are out of sync with the trend. This is why we came up with the idea to have an intensive boot camp, a two-day boot camp, so that you would know exactly how to find the trend in less than a second. You would know exactly what the overall trend is, okay? Uh, Vincent is asking me, will I be at the New York Expo in 2019? Right now, I don't think so. It's too cold over there in 2019, <laughs> and I have plans here, but uh, who knows? Anything can change. We, we, uh, nothing is said at this point. I know we've been asked, and we have we're, we have an invitation to go if we want to, but, uh, you know, uh, we may be giving the uh, live boot camp as well as some other courses, some live courses at that time. So it may conflict with my schedule. OK, uh, when is the boot camp? Good question. Uh, it depends a lot on how many people we get signed because we like to keep these classes to a minimum. You know, we, we, when I first started doing this nine years ago, we used to have classes with 30, 50 people in them. And it was a nightmare trying to get everyone together. And there were just too many people to make it intimate. So we want to get only a certain amount of people. When we see that we've got that amount, we'll most likely decide that we'll conduct the classes right away. So uh, I would most likely say it's probably going to be in the next, uh, I'd say, two weeks to a month uh, at the very latest, but probably in the next couple of weeks. OK. Well, uh, Vincent, if we decide to go, you'll be the first to know. But, you know, because we always give announcements. We, we gave uh, announcements weeks in advance. That we're going to be in Las Vegas. But if we go to New York, we will let you know. OK. As we close here. Remember, if you're losing money on a consistent basis, it's just not, don't think that you have a bad strategy or a bad system. Don't think that you're not experienced enough or you don't have enough knowledge in the markets. It could be that you're just out of sync. Maybe your strategy works perfectly or even better, but once you're in sync with the market. So rather than try and pick tops and bottoms the way we've all been trained, the way we've all been taught, try to trade in sync with the market, in sync with the trend. Remember, just think of the metaphor of going down the river, swimming with the current at your back, as opposed to swimming against the current, swimming upstream, which is the easier way, okay? So please remember that this is what we're trying to instill. And most people don't know how to do this. Guess what? We have all the tools and techniques to do this for you. So if you're thinking about getting in sync with the trend, Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They can uh, put together a payment plan for you. They can give you that $500 discount. But please remember, that discount is only for the next couple of days. That's a 30% discount you'll be getting for the next couple of days. Then it goes back to $1,500, okay? So we'll cover all this and more, and then we'll let you know exactly when the date is. Thank you so much for attending today. I wish you the best of luck trading. I wish you all to have a nice uh, healthful and relaxing and safe Thanksgiving. And thank you. As you take one last look at our disclaimer, thank you for attending today. And I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in our very first boot camp series on trend trading.
Thank you so much. I'll see you next time and happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.